So in this video, we'll look at a couple of computational exercises on finding the determinant of m. If m take a bigger size, like in this current case, m is actually having the size 4 by 4, right? So let's see whether you can find the determinant by using the cofactor expansion. And please notice for such a matrix 4 by 4, we don't have shortcut way to find the determinant like what we did in the last video about the 3 by 3 matrices. And uh, let's do the cofactor expansion now. Please recall that for the cofactor expansion, you have to first of all choose one row or one column. And the determinant value does not depend on the row or the column you choose. And I think uh, to be very clever to find the determinant in this case, uh, to make our calculation shorter, um, the quickest way we can do is to choose the row number four. Can you see why? If you choose row number four, and the fact is that, uh, please look at the checkerboard now. We care about the checkerboard um, of the 4 by 4 matrix. And in particular, we have to look at the row 4. It actually starts with the negative sign, you see? So basically, it means our determinant formula now has four terms, right? And I hope you can notice why, um, in the current case, we actually have the quickest formula by choosing row 4 because of the fact that you see, like the current term, if you look at cofactor formula, you have to multiply this term in the matrix with the minor at the position, uh, the fourth row and the first column, right? And similarly, so now you can see what's happening. Uh, each term basically um, is a product of the matrix entries with the corresponding minor at that particular position, right? Now you see what's happening. You don't have to find a minor in these three terms, they are all zeros. And uh, we are left with only one term to do. And uh, it's minus seven times the minor at the position fourth row and the third column. And please recall how you find the minor now. Um, to find the minor at this position, you have to delete the fourth row and the third column. So basically, you're left with uh, basically nine numbers like this, right? So uh, please take a look like this if you cross it out. And it means you're left with the three by three matrix which is basically this one. So you can check. I'm talking about the nine numbers will form this matrix. And the minor is basically the determinant of this matrix. So you see, to find the determinant of this matrix, um, you can use the shortcut we learned in the last video, or to put it in a simpler way, we can actually use the cofactor expansion again for the 3 by 3 matrix here, because we notice that if we choose the first row, the cofactor expansion is actually quite clean. First of all, we have to use the checkerboard, and in particular, the first row of the checkerboard. So it means, um, in general, there are three terms. However, um, you see, because these two terms are 0, we know that for these two positions, we must have the term 0, because 0 multiplied to any minor is going to be 0. So we only care about the first term. The first term is going to be the matrix entry at this position 1 1 multiply to the minor at this position but the minor to this position is basically uh, obtained by crossing out the first row and the first column you're left with uh, this matrix which is a 2 by 2 matrix and uh, you have to find the determinant of this matrix so the determinant of this matrix is going to be minus 9 and then it means uh, the whole determinant is going to be minus 1 times minus 9, which is 9. And this 9 represents the minor at this position, right? So uh, we have to replace the 9 here. It means now we understand that the determinant is going to be minus 63. And this minus 63 is the determinant value for our original problem, which is a 4 by 4 matrix. And uh, it's just one case to show you that um, you have to be clever when you're trying to do the determinant calculation by hand. Uh, it's much, much better to pick a row or a column which has as many zeros as possible. Because in that case, we can skip a lot of calculation for the minor. Because like this case, the minor itself is a determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix, which is by itself not that easy, right? Because uh, to find determinant of such a matrix in general takes quite a few steps. And anyway, that's the end of this video.